Welcome to the course presentation on utilitarianism. I am Dr. Jason White, a social scientist and instructor for this course. Utilitarianism is a philosophy that is concerned with the consequences of a behavior and how the behaviors contribute to the greater good for the greater number of people. David Hume was a Scottish philosopher credited with bringing utilitarianism forward. He focused on useful consequences of actions or utility. Maximizing utility means using the greater good for the greater number of people. I want to emphasize this point. Utilitarianism is the about the greater good for the greater number of people, and the consequences of an action are analyzed on how it benefits the greater number. Utilitarianism is often referred to as consequentialism as a result of this. Jeremy Bentham was influenced by Hume and brought the utilitarian philosophy forward as utilitarianism while also giving credit to Hume. Bentham believed that people were ruled by pleasure and pain, and that all good and values can be measured by a single measurement. He believed that laws and policies thought to be bad were bad in terms of right and wrong because they failed to maximize utility leading to unhappiness without compensation. Additionally, Bentham also believed that laws and policies may have been relevant at the time they were developed and should be revisited from time to time. Bentham believed that when people promoted greater good, they were in turn helping themselves. He also acknowledged that people sometimes act benevolently to consider the overall good instead of what benefits them best. He believed that rules could be overridden when the promotion of good was at risk. John Stuart Mill was a follower of Bentham. Mill believed that an individual could engage in pleasure and that it could still contribute to the greater good. Mill believed that pleasures could be rated or organized as most preferred to least preferred, and these higher pleasures would still be considered to contribute to the greater good. Additionally, he believed the individual will always choose the higher pleasure, which would create the majority and could be used as a guide when making decisions. Mill believed that happiness existed without pain, while unhappiness existed with pain. Both Bentham and Mill were interested in social reform and attempted to develop or build on classical utilitarianism to influence policy and law. A criticism of utilitarianism is that making decisions based on the greater good philosophy do not hold true on every account. For example, should a breadwinner for a family spend his or her paycheck on his or her family or donate it to society, where the society would benefit the most from it, which might be considered the greater good? There are two types of classical utilitarianism. Act utilitarianism is the act that is right when it maximizes the good as much as the present alternatives, and rule utilitarianism, which maximizes the good for the greater good of the group of which the individual is a member. In essence, act utilitarianism might require the breadwinner to give up the paycheck to society for the greater good, whereas rule utilitarianism might require the breadwinner to put the family first and then the greater society because taking care of the family contributes to the greater society. To summarize, utilitarianism is an ethics framework that focuses on consequences of an action and how the greater good benefits the greater number of people. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.